We have two teams from the Red Cross. One team is on the Hudson Bay coast, and we have another team on the Angava Bay. And we're supporting the regional health board to uh, make sure that people are protected against the COVID uh, virus. So we're talking about vaccination, about other ways to protect themselves, and we're being really guided by the local leaders in our work. The first thing we do normally when we get into a village is we sit down with the mayor and go over what type of activities have been done already by community leaders. And then we work with them and establish a plan to create ways to engage with all the community members and provide as much information as we can. We make it clear that we're here to listen first. We're not here to force the vaccination. We're here to actually understand the vaccine hesitation so that we can adapt and give them the possibility of actually getting the vaccine in the way they like. Not inside a medical environment where they might be scared to go in or they actually have past trauma that they don't want to experience. In the past, there was some mistrust. It goes back to first contact where settlers came in and they spread disease. A lot of these are still very vivid and clear in a lot of uh, elders' minds. And Western medicine is, is, is still fairly new. To, to indigenous peoples across, around the world. So like, we can't impose that on them. We need to understand how to, we can connect on a traditional level, on a cultural level. They are welcoming us in their community. So by telling them thank you, and say morning, ulakut. Goes a long way, shows that you're, you're trying to connect with them. And the fact that they still decide to come and get their vaccine, is a proof that they're going forward with their fear and to protect their community and protect themselves. So it's very nice to see that even though they have a little bit of hesitancy, they still come on site and ask their questions and still get vaccinated. And we saw really big first doses and a lot of people getting their first time vaccine. So it was fun to see the impact that we did. I'm grateful that Red Cross is able to come into our community and I was glad that someone out there in the world who W want to give their time to help us out to, so we could protect ourselves.